Welcome to True Crime and Coffee Time, where I make a cup of coffee, do a little coloring, and give you a nugget of true crime. And my cup is the Mousse Out Front, which is a nutty caramel blend with a little bit of pumpkin spice caramel creme. So we're going to talk about Keith Hunter Jesperson, the happy face killer. Now, this is a little interesting. He was born April 6, 1955, but he's a Canadian-American serial killer. He did murder at least eight women in the United States during the early 1990s. He was known as the happy face killer because he drew smiley faces on many of the letters to the media and authorities. Many of his victims were sex workers and people who had no connection to him. His preferred method of murdering was strangulation. And this is what he used actually as a child to kill animals as well. It's interesting because Happy Face Killer actually became um, a movie as well as Smiley Face Murder Theory and many other things. So they kind of, they've educated his crimes, but not really him himself. Uh, the body of the first victim was found. Media started surrounding this and they say a woman was falsely confessed to killing this person with the help of her abusive boyfriend. It was very, very much media attention, but in the wrong person. They were trying to catch the wrong person. His early life is one we see sometimes in true crime and that's, you know, a dominant father, abusive he was the middle child. Um, even his grandparents were prone to abuse towards him. And his nickname was actually Igor as a child, and it stuck all throughout school. He was shy, and they just said that he had trouble fitting in, and it was just a lot for him. We're not going to talk about all his victims, but I do I do really highly uh, encourage you to educate yourself and do research because these victims uh, deserve to be known and not forgotten. Now, in 2008, he actually has a daughter and she appeared on the Dr. Phil to talk about it. Also on Lifetime, Monster in My Family, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and much more. She even published a book. So I encourage if you educate yourself, educate yourself on the side of his daughter speaking or criminologist. Uh, I believe that was Laura Peddler that was hosted on a podcast that talked about it. Um, but it's just a sad case in all regards because obviously he's in prison, he has three children, and he has no parole. <laughs>